Uploading videos to TikTok can be very exciting. However, there are some cases where sometimes you just feel like your video is just a little bit blurred, mainly because of the format you are using. Worry not because in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to upscale some of these footages and save them also in the right format while still increasing the quality and still maintaining file size at a very reasonable rate. If all this sounds interesting, follow me on this journey as I take you through how to use Uniconverter to achieve this magical results. To follow along, make sure to go to Wondershare's website and make sure to download the latest version of Uniconverter. A major footnote, even though I promote lots of free products on this channel, this is one of those rare cases where even though there is a free package on this particular software, I do recommend that to get the full potential or to use all the features, I will suggest that you subscribe to their services because oh boy, nothing even comes close because we are not just paying for one thing, the tool comes in stock with a lot of stuff. With that out of the way, once we have it downloaded and installed on our computer, this is how it actually looks like. And so when we come to the home screen over here, we have the video enhance feature over here. And then we have so many other features right here. So we're just going to go ahead here and click on enhance. And all we need to do is just to drag and drop the video here. Or if you are dealing with so many videos, you can go and drag all of them and drop them here. Or alternatively, we can just click this plus button here in the middle and it gives us the chance to select any of the videos that we would want to enhance and probably also still change it to a very suitable format that makes it very clear and crisp so that you can upload it to TikTok or any other social media site. So for example, let's select this and then I will just click on open and then the next thing is to come down here and click on this arrow it will give us a chance to be able to select wherever we want to save the video. We click on that particular folder. All we need to do is to say select folder. And then the next thing is to just click on export. That is as easy as it gets, guys. Now, what we are going to do here is that this is in MP4. Most other devices till now have been using H.264. But trust me, even though that codec is good, it's not really that good for editing and even uploading on YouTube and other platforms. It degrades the quality a lot. So the secret here is to convert it to something a little bit different. Something called H.265, HEVC, or some people call it HEV. We're just going to come here, click on this particular window, and then come to video option. And these are all the various formats that we can convert to. So what we are looking for here, instead of the MP4, which we would have the regular H.264, we are looking for the H.265, which is the HEVC format. So once we click on it, if we do not want to lose quality at all we can click here as same as source so it is going to use the source information the bit rate everything so that when we convert it it is still going to be very clean it's going to be very crisp and then once again we can come here to select the folder where we want it to be saved in and then all we need to do is just to click on convert and that is it. Now, if you have many files and you still want to go through the same process, you just come down and drag and drop all those files in here. They will all be loaded. Now, instead of going in individually and clicking here and changing all the formats, what you need to do is just to come down here. You can have the format changed over here. And then what happens is that automatically it will change all or it will apply all those settings to the videos that you have selected. And then all you need to do now is to select the folder and just say select folder and then we click on convert all this is as easy as it gets guys let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below because i would definitely recommend this tool thank you so much for watching and i will certainly catch you in the next one until next time as always guys keep practicing filmmaking peace out